all right hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you uh, I apologize a little bit late but uh, it was an issue from Google it doesn't let me go in today our topic is about people of Indonesia <clears throat> now uh, Indonesia is a very beautiful country I never been there but you do not need to be a genius to find out that this is really a very beautiful country but I noticed something very unique about Indonesia and I want Indonesian who they are watching with us to think about it <clears throat> Indonesia as all countries in the world contain two things land and people people are beautiful and land are beautiful but you will notice right away that if you go to a land which Islam is not considered to be stronghold in it that land is more happy people there they live really happy life they are more tolerant they are more happy and they are more successful the more we find people who they are trying to implant Islam in the land the more we find that this territory or this city or this island is unhappy and successful and not safe why if we go to area which is not occupied by people who want to practice Islam I'm not talking Muslims now I'm saying because there's Muslims who they are Muslims by name and there's Muslims who they are real Muslims who want to practice Islam and this is not only in Indonesia if you go in the Middle East any country any country you choose the more it is close to Islam as a practice the more it's dangerous the more it's insecure the more you cannot even trust your wife to walk alone in the street and I will give you an example Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia you cannot let your wife go alone neither your daughter <coughs> or your sister or even your little child you see uh, sometime I see videos in YouTube about women living in the van going around in USA or in Europe you cannot do that in Islamic country if a woman she go in a van what will happen to her safety security does not exist so why in a place where we have Buddha Hindus Christians I mean people they live and they are I mean I'm not saying there is no bad people there there is bad people everywhere but bringing Islam does not bring security and make happiness flee You know what I mean? <clears throat> Someone saying this is a picture in Bali. Yes, this is actually what the picture uh, detail is saying. It says a village in Bali. I don't know if I can read the name correctly. It says Bing Li Bron Ping Ping Li Bron village, Bali, Indonesia. If you go in the Middle East. You will see Muslims they would love to buy a house in a Christian area and they will pay a lot of money to have such a house because they enjoy the neighborhood of Christians I remember how Muslim women they come to visit my mother and they don't need to bring their husband with them but the husband will not let his wife to go and visit a Muslim family unless he is with her so he trusts his wife to come to our house even though he knew my dad is there he's not worried but he cannot trust his wife to go to a Muslim family house even if it is visiting her sister Muslims they have a trust on Christians they don't have a trust on each other so what is behind this right <clears throat> Uh,
how you can trust and you are a Muslim if Muhammad himself he went to his own son house when the husband was away and he flirt with the wife and then he made a chapter in the Quran saying it's good for you to do so if the Prophet is like that what about who believe the Prophet is a best man and today is about all those things including about languages you know Indonesia is a multi culture ethnic there's many ethnic groups many cultures cultures me and myself I don't really understand uh, and I find some of it uh, some like uh, strange very strange like I see people putting mask uh, makeup in their faces etc so for me I'm not uh, familiar with this but this is their culture and the most important is how peaceful it is and then the rest is not really important you put a mask in your face or you don't that will not make any difference for me you put a makeup you put etc this is your culture no problem I mean like you go in in, in Brazil uh, until now Brazilian people you know hardly they put a clothes on themselves why because simply they are Brazilian Brazilian they grow in their old culture almost women and men they are almost naked so they have their own culture everybody have his own culture but you will notice that the second Islam come the culture of Indonesian disappear the culture of any country disappear Islam will be supremacist and Islam will force the food you eat the clothes you wear the name you name the dress you do and even the word you say and one of the most uh, tool they use is right away forcing you to pray in Arabic why an Indonesian who is born in Indonesia all his life he don't speak Arabic he have nothing to do in with, with Arab like me why he have to name his son Arabic name and he have to pray to Allah in Arabic and he have to wear Arabic clothes and he have to eat Arabic food as Muhammad he did who live in Arabian Peninsula what I have to do with Muhammad let us say Muhammad as Muslims they say he's a prophet well can't you be a prophet bring God to people without bringing Arabic to them can they be Muslims yet Indonesian can they be Muslims and yet they have their own heritage no you cannot Arab and Islam is one thing Islam use Arabic and Arab to be supreme above other cultures so you will see someone like uh, Zakir Naik who is not from Arabia what about say okay you pray to God say glory to Allah you know the most whatever do you have to say Bismillah why you not why you want to do that it's not your language Can't your God speak to you in your language? What exactly is the point of speaking, praying to God in a language you don't speak? Actually, this is silly. And this is a proof that the God of Islam is not a God for everybody. This is the God for the Arab. So you live in Indonesia, which is a couple of thousand of miles away from the Arabian Peninsula, yet you speak to God of Islam in Arabic? What will happen if you speak to him in Indonesian? He will not listen. He's not there for you. He will not understand you. Now we have, uh, I believe, some Muslims in the chat. If there's any Muslim who would like to call me, please feel free. I would like to speak to you. I see some people saying, some Muslims saying that the Bible is corrupted, fabricated, etc. Uh, even even those claims Muslims they make, they prove to us that Islam is false because supposedly this is the Bible of Allah. So what the Muslim saying to us, the Bible of Allah is fabricated. Well, thank you very much. Again, Allah proven to be false God.
Because if you Quran saying that the one who sent the Bible is Allah, and then you say to us the, the Bible of Allah is fabricated, that means you are just saying Allah is a false god and he is not the god of the Bible. And isn't it your prophet is confirming the Bible? How he confirm it if it's fabricated? Have you ever heard of a mad cult like this? They accuse the Bible to be fabricated, yet Muhammad confirming it. Have you confirmed something is something is corrupted? And here you see that the Muslims are copy paste of each other. Nobody even want to use his head. Somebody says the Bible is corrupt, everybody copy. But the Quran, all the Quran saying that Muhammad confirming the Bible. The one who says the Trinity is ridiculous, well, that's because uh, for you, God is ridiculous. And I can prove it for you. Isn't it ridiculous that God, he speak only Arabic? Isn't it ridiculous that your God, he says there is no Trinity, but yet he says that Jesus is the Word of God, is Spirit of God and man of God in the same time, three in one? So the ridiculous is that you are speaking as if you are mature, but fact, in fact, you are just a boy who is trying to find out why his toes is located in his foot. So what do you do? You try to test it with your mouth. You hold your feet, you put your toes in your mouth, and you say, Mama, I hurt myself. What is ridiculous about the Trinity? Let us say God is 1,000 God. Is that ridiculous for you? Change it. Get a God who is in your, in your uh, can fit in your menu. A Muslim, when he speak about God, as if he is speaking as God, he want to design that God. Ridiculous. Well, isn't it ridiculous that Allah, who is God, he send you a stone to kiss it, and he claimed that this is the right hand of Allah, and yet he speak that he is monotheist God? Is it ridiculous that God he send you if you believe in him 72 versions and they have no panties and you are talking about ridiculous So what the Muslims try to do they try to design God as they wish to make it fit with their God It's not because their God making sense No, but you have to make your God like their God But if you ask him who is your God they don't know how you Allah look like they don't know where is Allah? They don't know. Did Muhammad speak to Allah? Never. So they never met Allah. They never saw Allah. They know nothing about Allah. And they don't even know what the word Allah means. And here we go. I'm here. Who is the Muslim want to say to me what the word Allah means? They don't know. The Arab themselves, they do not know. So how about someone from Indonesia? Someone from Indonesia who don't speak one Arabic word yet he will he you know he he and the Arab themselves they do not know what the word Allah mean. They don't know where the name coming from. They don't know who is the first one used the word Allah. They don't know. They don't know. For this is a fabricated name of a previous religion. <clears throat> Hmm? And look at them. They cannot, they don't dare to call me and prove me wrong. Can you? The God who his name is Allah, he do not know how he to create the baby. He think the baby was a sperm and the sperm became a dead blood. The God who his name is Allah, he think the sun set in the murky water. And he think Alexander the Great was a prophet of Allah. That is your God Allah. So now who is the Muslim would like to give us a call and tell us how and why Allah, he insists that his religion is an Arabic religion. And why he insists, saying many times in the Quran that we made this book an Arabic book.
Let us read together what Allah supposedly says. Lu, we have revealed this literature in Arabic that you may understand. Are you serious? Hey, Indonesian, Allah speaking to you. Allah sent the book in Arabic so you might understand. Where is your Ustad who don't speak Arabic and tell us how he understand the Quran? Hmm? Allah saying that to you? Here we go. This is what Allah saying. If you don't like this translation, by the way, I can. I mean, I can change it. This is big tile translation. Let's find a different one. I mean, you choose one. I don't care which one. All of them for me are wrong. Uh, this is Sahih International. Indeed, we have sent it down in Arabic, an Arabic Quran, that you may understand. What does that mean? Okay, I'm an Indonesian. How I will understand? CP does not Bible say that when it comes to a Hebrew language my friend the Bible first of all is not written in Hebrew That's that's mean you do not know what are you talking about that the Bible itself is written in many languages Greek Hebrew Aramaic and even some is written in Egyptian. So what are you talking about? To make it simple The Bible is written in all languages in the time of writing the book not in one language but as you see here the Quran indeed we have sent down the Quran it's an Arabic Quran so you might understand so why it's Arabic so you might understand So what is the purpose of making it in Arabic? So you might understand. But look at this. Even the Arab who speak Arabic, they don't understand the Quran. So how a person who is from Indonesia or Bangladesh, he can understand the Quran? You know what I'm saying? Isn't this is crazy? And then you get somebody like the that he want to debate the Christians about Islam, but he don't understand one Arabic word. The that the Muslims who make a big deal about him, and too bad they did not get a chance to debate him and demolish him. He don't speak a single Arabic word except Bismillah al al -Lahim. So how this is a book can be for mankind you are the Yemeni they are the origin of the Arab let me show you this guy how ignorant here Yemeni are not Arab and they have nothing to do with the Arab and if you don't look look at the mirror if you don't believe me Yemeni people they are the children of the Ethiopian and you are ignorant and even your Quran confirmed that What we can say to ignorance. Chapter 85, verse number 4. Read it and see who is the people of Yemen. The people of Yemen, the origin of them, are the Jews and the Ethiopian. Not a single one is an Arab. Isn't this a story about Abu Nuwas? Who is Abu Nuwas? A Jew. And who was he killing, supposed to in this story? The Christians. Ignorant. They don't know what they are talking about. And where are the Christians coming from? Ethiopian. You are Ethiopian from the top to the toes. You look nothing like Arab. What is about you is an Arab. You look as Ethiopian, African, skinny with curly hair, 
darker skin, and even your voice is different. Ignorance. What do you mean we need super chat? <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here? I don't know. Maybe YouTube, they stop it. I don't know. It's okay. Well, maybe YouTube will stop that. It's all right. <coughs> so who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Nobody. The Quran keep talking about Arabic. Arabic. And thus we have revealed revealed it in Arabic. Okay, why? Why we review it in Arabic? Remember Muhammad, he said that Allah, he sent him the Quran in seven Arabic dialect. Why? Because Muhammad claimed that the Arab, they cannot understand. Okay, how the Arab can't understand? And they are Arab, Arabic. And they need seven Quran to understand the Arabic Quran. But someone from Indonesia, he can understand the Quran. No explanation. Right? Anyone? Yeah, YouTube, they are saying uh, that super chat is not exist because I have Patreon. They are forcing people just to give donations in their website so they can make money. It's all right. Anyway, anyway, the one who really like to help, he can go to Patreon and whatever. Any Muslim? Anyone? So no Muslim here would like to answer us how we can understand Islam okay let us say I am a person coming from you know uh, uh, from the middle of Indonesia I do not know anything about Arabic I speak no other languages except the language of my tribe and I want to understand about this God Allah how I can understand Any 
Anyone? No answer. Even the Quran itself saying that Allah never sent the messenger to any nation except in their language. Why? So they might understand. And we have not, we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people. Okay, why? So they might understand to make it clear for them. That's logical. So how Muhammad was sent to you? This is contradiction for the Quran. In order to make the, the teaching clear, we have to send it in the language of the people and the prophet, he have to be from the people. That's very logical. Unless your language, your uh, your religion is international and can be translated your religion to all languages but Muslim don't accept Quran in English they don't accept Quran to be in Indonesian language you have translation yes but that's not Quran unless you can pray to your God in your language but you cannot you have to pray in Arabic you have to read Quran in Arabic and then the Quran says we never send a message unless in the language of the people so they might understand So how that can be from God? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? No. Obviously, they have no answer, and nobody can answer us. All what I see that this is a religion fit only with certain people who they are Arab. You pray in Arabic, you are an Arab. You read the book in Arabic, you are an Arab. And the funny, they say to us, Islam is an international link, you know, religion. But Allah, he chose the most difficult language ever, which is Arabic. Arabic is a very difficult language. Any Muhammadan? Even the Quran says that Muhammad was sent to the village of Mecca and what is around it. <clears throat> Do you see it? This is, was not and never was a book for the world. The Quran says that. And this is a book which we have sent down Blessed and confirming what is was before it, confirming the Bible, that you may warn the mother of the cities and what is around it. By the way, it doesn't say mother of cities, it means mother of the villages, which is Mecca, and what is around it. That's it. Is Indonesia what is around it? Is Indonesia 15 miles from Mecca? What do you think?
so even your book which you think it's a holy book is totally full of contradiction that does not make sense proving to us that Indonesia is not included as a nation which should consider Islam to be for her because the prophet of Islam is not sent to you is sent only to the mother of the villages Mecca and what is around it and this is why it was in Arabic this is the only reason no other reason Any Muslim want to say something to us? Nothing? No answer. What a sad answer. No answer. And here, by the way, in the verse after this one, do you know what this story is about? It's about a guy who used to work as a scribe to Muhammad and he got him busted. The guy who told Muhammad, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators, Muhammad, he took the verse from him, he put it in the Quran. So the guy he says, Oh, what is was inspired to Allah, to Muhammad was inspired to me first. And this is what the verse is saying. The guy he left Islam and he got Muhammad busted. And the story is in front of you an evidence of corruption of Muhammad. Isn't it, doesn't Muslim believe that there is not borders in Islam? I'm not sure what do you mean, what borders? <clears throat> Islam believe in borders actually. Islam believe that the earth is a three territory. The land of peace, which is the land of Islam, which means there nobody will be killed unless he violate Islam. The land of war, which means they have to attack in order uh, to spread Islam and the land of fitna fitna is between which is like the population is Muslims But the practice is not Islamic fitna, which is like trouble Anyone Sure, he gave a list of fear to kill, but this is not our topic. Our topic is about how I can be from Indonesia or Bangladesh or India or etc., or America or Germany, Europe, whatever, uh, Africa, and yet I can be a Muslim. The Quran says you cannot. And the Quran confirmed that Muhammad was sent only to the Arab. Right? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us and say something useful? Well, until now, how those people they can go to Hajj? Let me explain to you. A Muslim he have to go and do what it's called the Umrah. Umrah is visiting the Kaaba once in your lifetime at least Okay, wonderful If now we have more than a billion Muslim not 1.4 let's say just only billion to, to, For easier calculation Do 
Mecca can take up to two millions visitors. Up to two million visitors to do Hajj. And the season of Hajj is a month. Actually, even is less than a month. It's a few days at the end of the month. So all those people, they have to come and do Hajj. How we can give opportunity to a Muslim to visit the Kaaba? It's impossible. If we say, if we say, every year we can give two millions the right to visit the Kaaba. Every year. Okay. And let us say we have one billion not one million one billion when your turn will be to visit the Kaaba 300 years from now 500 years from now 1000 years from now it's impossible that's mean Islam is not a practical and it's impossible religion nobody can do that and Muslims cannot do that even if you live for 500 years still you cannot go to visit the Hadakaba the one who can visit now is a lucky guy they give him a visa because they have a limited visa to give they can't exceed certain number because the city cannot handle it the location can't handle it the space cannot handle it look at this small tiny square what what is that people die go and see how 600 people they claim at the beginning that 600 people die and later we find more than 5,000 people get killed step by the feet because if you fell down in the ground you are dead the crowd behind you will step on you because they cannot even stop it's not like because they want to kill you but because they are going in a circle and nobody can stop the one behind him so you fell in the ground you are dead that's it nobody can take you down from the ground that alone is a proven to us that Islam is false. What about the other thing? The location of the Kaaba. <clears throat> location of the Kaaba approve Islam to be false. Let me show you this. All of us, we knew that the Muslim, they claim that Allah, he sent the black stone as a guide where to build the Kaaba. Okay. Now, that's good and then we find this look at this the Kaaba flooded by the sewage so Allah chose the location of the Kaaba and the Kaaba flooded by the sewage This is who God, this is God the choice, the location. Hmm? Are you sure? Imagine that you are God and you choose the best location for your house. This is the house of Allah. This is not any house. And then you choose it to be there. Who is the one who did it choose the location? The Muslim, they say Allah. That is a horrible location. Well, now the flood is not as before. It's better than before. Thanks to the American technology, they were able to help them. But before, each time they have little rain, there's flood. As simple as that. Anytime. 
it was something that happened every year now it's less like it happened maybe once every few years but still it happened so how Allah is the one who chose you know the, the guy who keep repeating himself are you okay take a hike I mean we got it we got it the Bible is a uh, corrupt and the Trinity, the Trinity is a uh, it, it say something else that's it this is the only two sentence you know are you a Barbie how this is can be a place Allah chose to be his holy house there that's alone is a proof to me that Islam is false you see if 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 the Muslim they say that okay uh, somebody he chose it there but no they say Allah is the one who chose the Kaaba to be there and not only that they claim that the Kaaba is the center of the earth brother golden ratio you are right golden ratio just to show you the madness that is a virtual ratio it's not real which means it's, you, if you decide which point to measure the ratio is going to be there and virtual the, the golden ratio of in the in the earth can exist in many 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 cities in the earth in the thousands it's a virtual lines they are not real we are the one who made those lines but when you are desperate trying to find something golden about your cult everything is a golden ratio the second you attach it to your cult hell mecca can be flooded no my friend the desert can be flooded too desert actually can be flooded more than other area because uh, uh, you see when the when the rain come uh, the nature of of the area does not allow the the water to go um, it, it make like they call it a flush flood and this is happening all over the world it's not only in, in the desert but in those areas five minute rain is very dangerous just five minutes because they don't have system they are not used to rain it's like imagine you have a snow in Indonesia for five minutes that will make you go in chaos because you're not used to that right so yes it does a flood and it's make a flush of flood which is very dangerous many people can be killed because the water will come very strong and very fast and actually you can go right now and search flood in Mecca you will not believe it you will see the flood is like like the Euphrates River how strong it is it's not only like a flood you will see the cars floating everything floating so how this is can be from God why Allah did not choose Mecca to be in Indonesia at least it's a beautiful place Mecca from Makkah, Makka, which means like the, 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 the dead land. This is what Makkah in Arabic mean. You, you have to suck the water to drink it. There's no water. Very hot, very dry, dead land. Living there is very tough. Going there very hot. What about Allah chose the Kaaba to be in a very beautiful island in Indonesia where the green, the birds, it's paradise already. Clear water, fish. Huh? That will be beautiful. But thank God the Kaaba is not there. Otherwise, Indonesia will be destroyed. And actually, the Hajj, the Hajj, the way it is, it is the best way to spread diseases. Because people from around the world, they come to visit and they gather in a very crowded place. And then they hug each other and blah, 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 blah. You don't even need to hug. I mean, look at this. Look at this. And you go back home. 
So one person you have a disease, everybody have the disease in two minutes. And then everybody fly back home to around the earth, and then a hey, all the earth is in trouble. And not to mention to forget to mention that the Kaaba was destroyed many times. Many times. The Quran have a chapter, it's called the chapter of the elephant. And the chapter of the elephant supposedly Allah He protect the Kaaba from by from elephant army, which is very funny. I mean, how somebody can bring elephant to the Kaaba in the desert. Every elephant he needs 600 gallon of water a day to drink. Not which is not enough for him. This is only to drink, which means this is for inside body. And he have more than that need for his outside body to keep it cool. Otherwise, he will die. Elephants, they don't sweat, which means they don't have cooling system like us. You know, when we sis, when we sweat, this is our air condition. So what elephant needs in the time of heat and sun, they jump in the water. Where they will jump in the water in the way to Mecca? Who can believe in such a story? The elephant chapter, which Allah He sent His uh, F sixteen. And he uh, he made the bird throw rocks at those elephants. Look how big this chapter is. Five verses. True story. Al Qurmuti he came to the Kaaba, destroyed the Kaaba, burned the Kaaba, killed thousands of Muslims, and he took the black stone and he used it as a pupil stone for more than twenty one years. And Allah did not say anything about his bird no birds not only that al qurmati he stood in the middle of the kaaba after he destroyed and he was screaming hey allah where is your birds where is your birds this is why at that time a lot of muslims left islam because they saw they witnessed that this is a lie supposedly the kaaba is protected by allah but the kaaba destroyed many times and one of them is al qurmati who made it clear Challenging Allah in the middle of the Kaaba saying where is your birds if you don't believe me you can ask any Muslim sheikh Where is the birds of Allah who appear in the chapter of the elephant chapter 105 hmm? They did not appear That's why the Saudi they are they are desperately trying to buy the, U, the USA uh, uh, You know airplanes and awaks Right? Allah cannot protect the Kaaba. Anyway, we just wanted to share this with you. And I wanted to be here in this time so people from Indonesia, they can join us. And I was hoping, sadly, uh, that some, uh, sadly did not happen, uh, uh, that some from Indonesia will call us, some Ustad, those who wear a hat and they claim to be sheikhs. But until now, not even one of them dare to call us. And this is telling you a lot. That those who claim that they can answer me and they can refute me, they don't have the guts. They make videos supposedly to answer Christian prince, but where are they? Why you want to make a video? Just call me. Let everybody hear you. Refute me and get me busted. All right? Prove us wrong. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And enter, we see you soon again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we prove it every day. If you like to learn more or read more, you can always get my books from Amazon, and you can read and educate yourself. And I have thousands and thousands of videos for you to watch in YouTube. Always remember one thing, foolishness speak of itself, and wisdom speak of itself. And ask yourself, Always, from what you heard about this book in the Quran and what you read, do you see any intelligence design there? Even the book itself is not organized A, B, C, D. This is how much is messed up. And not only that, even the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran today 
is not the way Allah sent it down, which means the Muslims they reorganize the Quran. Why Allah did that? Allah sent it in the wrong way. You are correcting him. The Muslims are correcting Allah for obviously the way he sent it is not good. So we should correct Allah and we change the order of the Quran. That's why now we have something called Quran by revelation and Quran as a printed. And they don't match. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon.